Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today they, well technically yesterday they released the cards, and then today uh, you can do the collection for the Devin McCourty. Uh, you all know, Patriots fan. Devin McCourty is probably my favorite team, player, favorite team, favorite player on the Patriots, so I gotta get this collection done. Hopefully he'll re-sign here with the Patriots. They got a while. Um, they got a little bit to sign him. They got like four or five days still to sign him. Uh, and that doesn't mean they don't sign him in free agency. They could just not sign him until free agency. It really doesn't matter when they sign him as long as they sign him. Uh, they came out and said that he's more important for them to re-sign than Revis, so I'm assuming maybe, because nothing has been announced on Revis yet, so I'm assuming they're kind of still working with Revis, uh, maybe to get a different contract that's not 25 mil cap hit next year, so, uh, the, once, I would assume maybe if they can finish that up here in two or three days, they'll be able to hammer out, they probably already, I would assume they'd have the guidelines already set out with McCourty, uh, to re-sign him, and they've got plenty of guys they can cut here in the coming days, uh, Mayo, Amendola, and uh, Will Fork are kind of the big ones that could key up money. Uh, Will Fork will most likely just sign back with a restructured contract, even though they barely re-signed him last year because he wanted money, he didn't want to take a pay cut, uh, so we'll see, we'll see about that, but the Mayo one is, I would be a surprise if they don't cut him, he's been hurt for two straight years, uh, they, but I would see him restructuring, I guess, maybe because there's really no point to keep him, and then, because if he, I don't really, they, they got Collins and Hightower now, and they've got Ayers, if they re-sign Ayers off the, on the pass, I think they have to re-sign Ayers, uh, on the pass rush, and he was good, so I'd assume they'd re-sign him, uh, but enough about that, let's get into this collection here, so you got the Golden Tate, Michael Kendricks, Leon Hall, Damon Harrison, the, uh, collectible from playing the solo, and five gold badges. So we'll start out here with, let's do the Michael Kendricks with the Eagles trading Shady McCoy yesterday to the Bills for Kiko, which I get because Shady's contract was pretty expensive and Kiko's is pretty cheap and they kind of want to pursue free agents and trade and stuff like that. And, you know, it's the Philadelphia Ducks now because... They got nine Eagles players that played for Kelly, so like a fifth of the roster is Oregon players that played for Chip Kelly. Uh, but 92 speed, 85 awareness, 83 strength, 91 tackle, 88 player rack, 87 block shed, 93 pursuit, and 82 zone. It's a pretty solid card. Uh, if I was making an all Eagles team, I'd definitely get him, but I don't know. Uh, the Dante Hight that 92 Dante Hightower Rising Star plays like a boss, so I don't really need. A new middle linebacker. Obviously, if I ever get Mutt Master here, you know, I'll buy it. <laughs> I'll probably buy the Ray Lewis or Jag Lambert, but for now, that 92 Hightower plays like a boss. And, you know, if I didn't have a bunch of <laughs> good quarterbacks, I'd really want this Leon Hall. I'll probably end up buying him, depending on how cheap he gets, just because I like Leon Hall. Uh, and I'll probably just use him every once in a while, because in solo challenges... But he's got 93 speed, 91 acceleration, 89 awareness, 89 agility, 88 man, 94 zone, 92 press, and 88 player rec. So a really nice card uh, for Leon Hall. Let's see what his catching is. Yeah, 68 catching. Not great, but eh, it's, all, it's all right. It's all right, but uh, we'll keep track here. The Kendricks was 40K, so 65 so far. Uh, let's see. Damon Harrison. He is currently going for 40k as well, so that's 105. No, yeah, 105, 105k so far. Uh, that 97 block shed, 97 tackle, 70 speed, 96 strength, 93 power move, 53 finesse, 88 play rec, and 93 pursuit. I might actually look to maybe pick him up and use him over Star. Let's see. Let me compare these two. What's Star looking like? He's got one bear block shed. He's faster, stronger. He tackles a little bit better. Play rec is a lot higher. Pursuit. That 99 pursuit, though, for star. Hmm. I don't know. I really need the stupid D-tackle collections to come out positional so I can sell this Sue and maybe make, like, 30k off of it. Because uh, I think he's, like, 19 now. Maybe he's less. Maybe, like, 15. But, yeah, I need that to come out. That Damon Harrison is a solid card. I might actually pick him up. Not going to pay 40 k for him, but if he drops, I'll probably pick him up. And then Golden Tate, who had probably the most underrated season this year, uh, 
had him on my fantasy and he he balled out. But that's 190k, so it's like 240 to get McCourty. So not bad. I should be able to pick him up maybe Friday for pretty cheap. Uh, but Tate, 92 overall, uh, 95 or 95 speed, 85 awareness, 95 catching, 97 elusiveness, 96 back catch. Uh, 80 release, 86 route, 86 route running, and 92 catch in traffic. I could add him to my short team with all these stupid short players I have. <laughs> like my top four, five, five, top five wide receivers are all under six foot. I don't count Dante Minecraft because I don't even use him. Uh, but this Golden Tate's actually pretty good, except for that route running. That's weak. I don't know why it's so low. Uh, let's see here, 77 carrying, so that's good. Uh, won't fumble the ball as much. Uh, 77 trucking. Good spin and juke move. Eh, good, really good stamina. 96 spec catch. That's a really good. Uh, release being an 80, that's weak. Uh, but this is a solid Golden Tate card. Not as good as I would have expected him to get, but not, not too bad. And then now let's go take a look at this Devin McCourty. I'm interested to see... How much he's going for and his stats. I saw, saw that he has 98 zone, but that's about it. So let's go free safe. Oh, I click cornerback. All right, free. Hold on. I'm going to go select the Patriots. Patriots. 95-99. All right, and now let me do cornerback. Or free safety, not cornerback. All right, so current, wow, he's 300, 300, these are actually selling? If you just play the solo challenge, buy the five elite badges, it's like 250k. So you can make 20k by just repeat, by doing the Devin McCordy collection at this moment, if it's sold at 300k. It's kind of ridiculous, but he's zone D. I'm going to be getting him. I don't know what I'm going to do with him and Ed Reed, because I'm going to have both of them, so I'll have to play one at strong. And it's probably going to be Ed Reed. I think it's going to, yeah, it's probably going to be Ed Reed playing strong safety. He's a 92 overall at strong safety, so not too big of a deal. Uh, but he's got 95 speed, 98 acceleration, 90 player X, 76 tackle, 92 man, 98 zone, uh, 85 pursuit, and 86 power, or hit power. Um, I kind of want to play him at strong safety because sometimes my strong safeties will play man to man, and... Him playing man-to-man -man would be ridiculous because he's a beast at man-to-man. -man, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do yet. Let me know what you guys think. Should I play? Who should I play at strong safety, McCourty or Reed? Uh, I kind of want to play Reed there because of his hit power at strong safety, but I kind of want to play McCourty there because of his man. Uh, but he's got 79 catching, uh, 94 jumping. Uh, none of this really matters. Uh, 97 injury, 99 stamina. That's good. Let's see, catching traffic, 61, 47 spec catch, 74 press, so not actually that bad of press. I could actually kind of press him, uh, like, every once in a great while, and he won't get burned, most likely, because it's decent press, but not great, uh, not even good, but it's decent. Uh, but that's the final edition cards, guys. Let me know if you're going to be picking up any, uh, and then let me know who I should start at Strong Safety. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you on my next video. Peace out, guys.